What's up, internet? Mr. T Cops here, the only commentator of a bomb chain, bring you a Battlefield 3 gameplay. Well, anyway, I start off here, and I'm like, what the hell? I don't know what I'm doing, because this was my first game, and I was really just getting used to controls, and I get killed straight away from a guy in an escalator. I never thought I'd be able to say that sentence in my life, but anyway, you're probably wondering, why is this 12 year old on the microphone? I'm not really 12 year old, I'm a 36 year old man living in my mum and dad's basement, playing this game. I'm joking, I don't live in my mum and dad's basement, but anyway, yeah, so this game came out, it's pretty decent, it's okay, it's nothing to get a boner about, like, there are lots of things wrong with it, but being a beta, they'll hopefully be improved, but really some things do suck more arse than George Michael, and I hope they do get better, but yeah, my first tactic of trying this game was to camp like a bitch, I mean it, I camped harder than a handicapped potato, and I did not move like a watermelon, <laughs> and really look, I spawned here, and this guy's already got the plan up, Already got the plan up and going. He's camping. He's ready for it. He's playing COD after this. But yeah, as you see here, the new animations of the game, which was done by the FIFA team. Yeah, it adds like, something new to the game, but they do get a bit annoying after a while. But I don't know if you like Mirror's Edge, you'll love this game. One thing this game lacks is it lacks that little, that, that orgasmic sound you got when you kill someone in Battlefield Bad Company 2. That's just not here, and it just doesn't feel good to get a kill. Like, yeah, I've got a kill, so what of it? The other one's like, yeah, I've got a kill. <laughs> But now it's just changed, and well, the game is basically it feels like Medal of Honor, not the old one, the new one. And well, that new one kind of did. Well, the new one was all right. I'm not gonna say it was that bad, but it's okay. But this is basically Bad Company 2 and that game combined into one, and they don't really work together. It's like well, it was like the odd couple really, but they don't get used to each other by the end of it. <laughs> like, what's it? This is supposed to be Battlefield 3, a continuation of Battlefield 2, and it feels nothing like Battlefield 2. It feels far from it. Like, this is used Medal of Honor menus over a Bad Company 2 gameplay. One thing this game does have, though, it has recoil. And I was like, recoil? What the fuck is that? Like, after playing Coil, I was like, ooh, guns actually move around a bit. This is going to be some challenge, and I did miss loads of people. Yeah, from distance, you're not going to snipe a lot of bitches, but you get used to it after a while. Like, the starting guns are okay. They are quite powerful, but you got your basic class setups from Battlefield, like, what's it, Assault Class, Medic, Engineer, and Sniper. Even simple, you just uh, level them up, unlock new attachments, new guns and that. Nothing's changed in that department, except for, like, maybe new upgrades, but... One thing that's quite annoying was the Sniper class, you start up with an ACOG scope. ACOG scope? ACOG scope. And it really does flop a lot. <laughs> that's what she said sometimes. But yeah, it does flop a bit, like... It, like the game doesn't really load that far, so if you're trying to shoot from distance, you're not going to see no one unless you've got a proper scope. So it does take a while to unlock the full scope, but eh, maybe it gives you a bit more challenge. But uh, the death scenes are just so dramatic. Like you die and you're waiting for an ages and ages, like unnecessary a long amount of time. Like it can just be so long, it's unreal, and there's probably an innuendo in there, but I'm not going to say it. But uh, you've got the same system of spawning, like in. Uh, bad Company 2, you pick a squad mate, you can spawn on them, or you pick an area. I've always liked this type of system because you can just get right back into the action and be up front and get it all over the place. And another you know, in there, but I'm not going to say that either, jeez. But uh, the game does reward you for being more of a team player. Like, you got your medic kit, so you can spam points and that, you'll level up in no time. You got, uh, I don't know if you have vehicles in this map, I haven't really seen any, or. I haven't really played it that much to see any, but I'm sure the mechanical kit will get you loads more points from that. The sound effects in this game will give you a hard on straight away, like it does sound like you're in a real, real war, you're just like, jeez, the grenades go all over everyone, it's just like, wow. In the beginning you start off in a little grassy area and there's a humongous load of glitches there, like you can run around the map, no, run around the map, you can run under the map and you're like, wee, you can't get me, can't get me. And I think you can shoot through it as well, so you can pick up some easy kills there, so hopefully they'll fix that, because, well, now you've got prone in the game. I think prone kind of ruins it, like, because in all of the battlefield, well, actually, in the Bad Company 2, you didn't have prone, which kind of meant the game was a bit, I don't know, it was more balanced, really, because snipers couldn't really just uh, sit down and just wait for their kill. They had to kind of be mobile and be alert. Well, with the prone on this one, it just feels like, cod, just uh, another day generic shooter, which is, I don't know, it's just... It feels like they're going back a bit. <laughs> One thing, though, the missile launcher does kick so much ass in this game. Like, it doesn't really fly around like the RPG does. It just goes straight through the enemy and bang, easy kill. I do like that they improved the map in the bottom left. It's bigger than normal and it's actually visible so you can actually see what you're doing. Which is a nice touch because I don't remember him. Was there a map in about Bad Company 2? Man, that shows how crap my memory is. I can't remember a game I probably played last week. 
I'm gonna fail everything. But yeah, I have the reactions of a snail. Well, I don't even have the reaction of a snail. A snail has better reactions than me. Like, sometimes I see a guy walk past me, I'm like, shit, time to shoot him, he's already killed me. I'm like, what? It must be a glitch. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, the servers do suck a bit, but the purpose of this beta was for them to test out the servers in general, so I'm not going to uh, criticise them on that, because they are trying their best, because they are, I think they're using EA servers now, and if you play FIFA, you know that they're a torment, and they do suck, but hopefully their servers will get better, because loads of people went to play this beta, and it just shows they have a market for it. This beta, people have said it's the old E3 beta, so it is quite an old version of the game, hopefully the new one's a bit different, because at the moment it just... It's not that great. On a scale potato to orange, this game is about halfway in between. It's kind of a pineapple. It's not that great, but at the same time, it's alright. It could be better, and I hope it does get better, but I'm kind of running out of things to say. So I'm going to end this commentary here, and you can watch the rest of the gameplay if you want. So this has been Mr. T Cups, and hope you please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.
Transit over. Start set. Be advised, the enemy has defused the charge. Over. Be advised, we have taken out the objective. Over. Be advised, we have taken both objectives over. <laughs>